Hey guys, you know what time it is. It is bang time. So on my latest product review slash blood glucose testing, which you can see right there, uh, a lot of people asked me, would I try Bang? And if you watch this channel for any amount of time, you know that I love Bang energy drinks and I drink them frequently. So I thought that would be a great idea. So before we get into it, let's talk about the product. It says Bang Super Creatine Potent Brain and Body Fuel. This flavor is Star Blast. Everyone knows it's my favorite. Uh, they have a ton of different flavors. I tend to lean toward the fruit flavored ones, like they have a peach mango, they have a pina colada, but then they also have like sour ones, um, lemon drop. I really like those flavors, but to be honest, after you drink them for long enough, they all kind of start to taste the same. They're all very tart, um, which I like, but I will say that Star Blast is my favorite. It does kind of taste like one of those popsicles that shaped like a rocket. What were those things called? You know, the, the red, white, and blue, like, that's definitely the feeling I get from this, and so this is the one that I buy most often. Per the nutrition label, contains no fruit juice. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so serving size is one can, which is 16 ounces, zero fat, zero carb, zero protein, has 40 milligrams of sodium and 85 milligrams of potassium. Oh, look at you, electrolytes, huh? Okay, so these ingredients are a mess. Let's see carbonated water, citric acid, and hydro... Mm. Someone's gonna have to help me out on that one. A-N-H-Y-D-R-O-U-S. Anhydrous? Mm. Okay, moving on. Natural and artificial flavor, caffeine and... Mm. No, I'm done. Sodium benzenate, a preservative. Potassium citrate, monohydrate, sucralose, L-leucine, potassium phosphate, Dibasic, vitamin C, absorbic acid, calcium chloride, acylphane potassium, potassium sorbate, another preservative, calcium disodium, EDTA. Now, now we're just putting letters in the ingredients. Got it. Magnesium chloride. And then the super creatine that's included in here is creatyl L leucine, creatine bonded to L leucine. Thank you. L-isoleucine, L-valine, vitamin B3, COQ10, I mean, what? Vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. And it says, warning, too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleeplessness, and occasionally rapid heartbeat. Not recommended for use by individuals under 18 years of age. One serving of Bang provides 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. Wow. And then a little bit of the print. Make no mistake, Bang is not your stereotypical high sugar, life sucking soda masquerading as an energy drink. Exclamation point, awesome. High sugar drinks spike blood sugar producing metabolic mayhem causing you to crash harder than a test dummy into a brick wall. I'm loving the voice of whoever wrote this. Power up with Bang's potent brain and body rocking fuel. Creatine, caffeine, COQ10, and BCAAs. Life is an extreme sport, and Bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme. I don't know if my life is an extreme sport, but I know this stuff tastes good, so <laughs> that's what we're going with. I've already tested my blood sugar. You'll see that here. This morning I was at 83. So I'm gonna give this Bang a chug, and then I'm gonna test my blood sugar in 60 minutes and then in 120 minutes. In terms of taste, it, it's my favorite. It's just tart. It kind of tastes like a, like a pack of Smarties. To be honest, I can neither confirm nor deny that I actually get an energy boost from this, but it is just a good drink to have in the morning. And I do use it as a pre-workout. Once again, it could just all be mental, but I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll be back in an hour. All right guys, we are at the one hour mark, so let's see what we got going on. Okay, 87. So that means that as of the one hour mark, the bang has only risen my blood sugar. The bang has only 
cause my blood sugar to rise. Either way, it's only gone up by four points. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a victory. I'm very excited to see such a small rise and knowing my insulin response, like my blood sugar could be back down to what it was or even lower by the two hour mark. So let's wait and see. Madeline, I don't feel like anyone gets to see you for the angel that you really are. Madeline, oh gosh, you're just too calm. That's the problem. Maddie, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Okay, yep. You're a good girl, Maddie. Mommy loves you. And here comes the star of the show, Milton. Milton. Look at you, Bubby. Bubby. All right, we are back. It's the two hour mark, so let's see what's going on. 86. As suspected, it has dropped. It hasn't gone back down all the way, but it has dropped by one point. So in conclusion, at the one hour mark, the bang energy rose my blood sugar by four points, and at the two hour mark, it had come back down so that the entire net increase was three points. You guys, I am elated. I love these things and I drink them often. Okay, so speaking of that, number one, taste. How does it taste? It tastes great. I love it. These are eight out of 10 to 10 out of 10, depending on what flavor you get. Like I said, there are some subtle differences, but by the time you get to a bunch of them, they kind of taste the same, which is sour and delicious, so I love that. Number two, would I buy these? So I normally get my bangs from GNC, or I know they have them at Vitamin Shop, and I've been able to find like one or two flavors at Meyer. They usually retail for about 250 each, Generally at a GNC, they'll be running some sort of buy five, get one free, buy a case, get a case for half off, something like that. That brings them between $2 and $2.50 a can. However, on Instagram, I've seen where there are places for like $1.50 and $1.79. And I'm like, where do they do that at? Cause like, I would love for it to be that inexpensive because yes, I would buy these and I do buy these. Um, these are something I might have like once a month. Generally, I alternate between this and Zip Fizz, but sometimes when I want something super tart and super fizzy, like this hits the spot. Number three, would I make this a part of my meal prep? Yes. So generally, like I said, I usually alternate first thing in the morning between a bang or a Zip Fizz. Now bangs are more expensive per serving than Zip Fizz, so I generally limit these to maybe like once a month. So what I'll do is I'll buy six cans at once, and then I'll have one every morning for a particular week. Or I might buy three cans and alternate between a bang one day, a Zip Fizz the next day, bang the day after that, etc. But yes, I do buy these and drink these. And seeing basically that it had a negligible impact on my blood sugar, like, that makes me even more happy to see. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. What product should I test next? Leave a comment below and let me know. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next time.